Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today let's do a blue baby run to somewhere to um, the lamb. Yeah, let's go to the lamb. That seems like fun. Once again, start with the poop. Can't have red hearts. Only going to have soul hearts for the entirety of the run, and I'm hoping that everything is going to be okay. Blue baby can be a bit fiddly if you just don't get any health at all, but hopefully we're going to be lucky today. Uh, we are almost at the oh crap transformation after two rooms, so that is already pretty exciting. Hopefully we can keep up that momentum and truly create a wonderful build. We do, of course, now have the hallowed ground poop available when we take damage, but the amount of damage that I've taken there is not great. Also, huh, one thing that I will always forget with this item that if I now apparently use the poop, it will also drop a hallowed ground. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's pretty damn good then, isn't it? I mean, I need to get the boss away from my beautiful glowy poop right there, but other than that, uh, seems pretty nice to have that combination of things happening. Because that is significantly more damage and tier rate. Mostly tier 8, I suppose, but still, that's still an important part of damage at the end of the day, and that made the fight go pretty damn quick. Don't mind that at all. Uh, we'll probably try and destroy a couple more poops and things here and there just to maybe get a little bit more money or bombs or just any consumable, really. I could technically go to my curse room, but I don't like that idea at all with the amount of health that I currently have. So, let's just see if it works out. A burning basement probably should have gone for downpour, but what are you gonna do? Mostly, I will just now start shooting with my high high tier rate all the time and hope that no one can come close to me, and so far that seems to be working out just fine. Not sure if I want to save this death- nope. <laughs> Wasn't sure I wanted to save that death card for the boss room, but that was a lot of jumpy boys right there that I did not want to deal with. The poop instantly got used, so these uh, enemies aren't going to do anything at all. We have two keys, so I can enter my item room as well. Scapular, that is interesting. Because that allows for some uh, sacrifice room shenaniganry. And since we've already done Boss Rush and Hush, I can take my time during this run as well, so... I think I know what's coming. <laughs> Provided we can find another sacrifice room, of course, but that can give us a lot of good things at the end of the day, so I would not mind. Definitely would not mind. Do need to be a little bit more careful than I currently am, but... Ultimately, as long as I don't die, then <laughs> we should be okay. If I now take a full heart of damage, if I go to half a heart, then um, at least I will just have Scapular give me my health back again. So it's not the end of the world at the end of the day. But I'm a little bit concerned about the whole situation. Tempted to go for my secret room, which is almost certainly uh, right down there. Don't really know any other place where it could reasonably, but I know some places where it could be in an unreasonable manner, and there is always that basement law that everything is uh, not quite what you want it to be. So we may face into an unfortunate predicament, but I feel fairly confident that the secret room is exactly where I'm, ex where I'm expecting it to be. Having some difficulty talking right now as well, and hopefully that's not going to get in the way either. But so far things are looking good. Not sure if I want to go for Angel Rooms or Devil Deals, but given my health situation, I feel like Devil Deals are pretty much not even an option as it currently stands. But still, that doesn't mean that it wouldn't be fun to try. <laughs> Tempted to get a Soul Heart or something from the shop as well, provided they're selling one, but that's really the only thing I can afford right now there, so... Not really sure if I want to spend the key on that. That's Ragman, which isn't the worst thing. Not great, but it's not terrible either with uh, this hallowed ground situation that we got going on here. Um, all right, I'm just going to walk into a flame. <laughs> That's why I kept those flames available, because it means that I can heal up. And I guess I could just create infinite poops, huh? 
Can I create infinite consumables this way, or is this not a thing? Because the the thing is just going to heal me every time. The scapular. I mean, I can not put poops in the corpses, I guess, of previous poops, and it doesn't seem like anything's currently coming out of them. But I don't know. I think there's some ridiculousness that we can probably do with our current build. Also, I should go for my curse room. Now that I remember that uh, I have scapular and that is a pretty important thing related to being able to take chunks of damage all over the place. So, yeah, just just going to do that real quick. That is interesting. Curse of the tower. I don't think I want to bother. <laughs> I mean, I could blow up those... Uh, four flames over there with Curse of the Tower, which arguably isn't the worst. I could probably also like go to my super secret room that way. But all things considered, I just don't feel like it's a very safe idea. So instead, let's just keep moving on in this direction. We got a black heart for picking up that safety pin. And there's a planetarium right there with our 1% chance, so that's pretty good. Uh, Mer Mercurius is going to make us run fast. It's going to make all the doors stay open all the time. Um, not sure how that works with the challenge room in particular. Also not sure why I took damage there, but sure, I guess. <laughs> uh, might as well check this out while I'm at it then, I suppose. But yeah, really not sure what damaged me there. Probably was just an enemy right next to me that I didn't notice, but it is a little annoying for sure. Let's just take damage twice here. So I go back to one and a half heart before picking up this half of a black heart. And with half of a black heart, I of course mean a full black heart. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's been a long day, you know, and occasionally you're just going to get those situations. Adrenaline, unfortunately, doesn't do anything for me. However, the sacrifice room is effectively going to be free. It's going to be a little annoying for sure, but... It is something where I can just do this for a while and not really lose out on anything. So I might as well see if we can get some good stuff out of that. Provided I just keep leaving the room, then I'm good. <laughs> Unfortunately, You Feel Blessed doesn't do anything for my chances, which is unfortunate. Actually, I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, do we need to do Mega Satan? Yeah, we do, actually. Mm, not sure if I want to bother with that particularly, but it's not the worst idea. It's just that uh, the whole killing an angel right now worries me a bit, uh, given my health situation, because I don't really do that much damage yet. Although the spikes in the middle do deal damage to the angel, and oh god, that's really effective. <laughs> oh, that's a really stupid strategy, but you can't say it doesn't work. Well, I guess you could, but it would be a lie. For some reason, he was just getting real stuck inside, like, in between the poop and the spikes, and then he just ended up doing uh, oodles of damage to himself. I did not mean to pick up that soul heart. And I will take that, and I will take the damage as well, hoping for the seven soul hearts, but unfortunately, every time you say that out loud, uh, the, the video game actually smiles at you and deals uh, that coin t to your build. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's just quickly create one more hallowed ground poop over here. I, yeah, yeah, I got stuck inside the angel, but it worked out in the end. Please help me with the spikes if you can. There you go. Because otherwise I'm going to have to go for angel. I mean, we're going to get a guaranteed angel room, effectively speaking, anyway. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But I wouldn't mind if we could just get both key pieces here, you know? It would just... Uh, be nice not to worry about having to save bombs and stuff like that. Just little things that I wouldn't need to worry about anymore. Would be something I'd appreciate. Yeah, there you go. That's a good amount of damage to an angel with no real reasonable method. <laughs> Weird run so far, but I'm fully taking it because any way you can make this character be a little bit easier on yourself is nice. I'm definitely not taking butter with me because it seems like a bad idea. There's a soul heart right there, which is tempting. But I might just save that for the end of the floor. Might as well blow up this shopkeeper to get a little bit more money, maybe. Also open up a secret room, apparently, and also get that extra angel room chance. Very nice. Excellent. X lax. 
I figured I might as well take the pill because I think scapular would still proc if um, it ended up being bad. <laughs> that was a really good, really good idea that I had there to use my one key to open the lock and not have a key left to actually open the chest behind it. As I said, it has been quite a long day. Also, you can keep enemies kind of away with you from the little fart effect that happens every time you use the poop, so that's kind of nice, I suppose. <laughs> We're finding out all these great synergies in a build that I really didn't expect to be this effective, but very happy to finally have gotten Hallowed Ground and Poop, I guess. Even though I almost certainly have gotten it before with this same character, but still it's just a nice little treat every time you do it, because this is one of those synergies that you are bound to forget about, as it's very specific. <laughs> it really does require two very specific items, and you're just very likely not to take them, really. Uh, do you think there would... No, there's no way there's a super secret room here, right? Maybe at the top? It's not impossible, I don't think. The enemies move a bit weird when they get close to the hallowed ground. Which makes it a bit awkward to try and get them in the middle top there, but... Yeah, I'm bored, but... Yeah, maybe there's a super secret room at the top of this room. Not sure. Either way. I mean, Hallowed Ground might be the, the entire build right now, but it is still fairly effective. Hallowed Ground and Sacrifice Room Spikes is, is all you really need to have a good build that is effective for the entire run. We can also just run past everything if we so desired, which is kind of nice. We can leave rooms with that Mercurius. Mercurius? But I don't know how much use I will make of that. Just because we don't have to go fast, it really makes me less eager to try <laughs> to go fast as well. Um, if we get flight and grab that, otherwise I can use a poop as well. That would be lovely. In rooms like this, I am tempted to just try and take a little bit of damage just because I can and still deal a lot of damage to them as well. So I'm not always going to be playing it as safe as I could. I don't like that Bombino is here, but I do like that there was a Tinted Rock in this room. So uh, ups and downs, I suppose. Also, am I magnetizing enemies with this trinket as well? I thought it was only pickups. I thought that's what I read in the description, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case right now. And it concerns me a little. I could probably just end up giving him a whole bunch of money as well and finally do that since I do have the money available, but I'm a little bit concerned about my health situation in that regard. I'm also not sure where all these hearts are coming from, but I'll take it, I guess. But I think you need to give him like 15 coins or something like that, and there's no way I'm going to... Well, I said I was. there's no way I'm going to take that much damage, but I am well on the way at this rate. Uh, I'm tempted to try now, actually. <laughs> Uh, damn, actually took the hit there and ended up using scapular and then suddenly became a lot less interested in trying. So, yeah, fair enough. Let's see what this actually says. For pickups and enemies. Oh, that's not so great. That's not what I want to see at all, actually. Yeah, let's try this. I mean, it didn't seem... Oh, wow, you can actually create a bridge and still have the poop available. That's unusual. <laughs> there we go. Very nice, not a bad super secret room at all. But yeah, we're slowly but surely making progress. There is still a uh, nice little soul heart waiting for me in the shop, which I can grab. There's a torn photo just randomly hanging out here, and I can appreciate that, I suppose. There we go. Kind of unfortunate that the boss room door doesn't stay open and that you can just use scapula to just keep giving Bambino more and more money because I feel like that would have worked to actually finally get that to happen once, but it wasn't to be. Really need to get that nod leaf in combination with that boss in particular and that just feels so very unlikely, unfortunately. But maybe one day we'll be able to do it. For now, though, let's just keep moving on. Uh, we were going to the lamb. Definitely didn't forget, but 100% I did. And so far, so good. Hopefully we can get a little bit more damage. I'm pretty happy that we got Torn Photo, because that's at least some tier 8. Uh, unfortunately, the mini boss door also closes behind you, as it turns out, even with Mercurius. So, that is unfortunate. Because <laughs> it means we're going to have to run around here for a bit. But fortunately, we do have a large quantity of movement speed, so this boss does effectively nothing. I'm a little bit smaller than previously, which makes me feel a little safer. 
these enemies are just going to sit there on their little pedestal because I can just shoot around the corners, wanted style, so that is lovely as well. So far there is just very little to worry about during this run and I can appreciate that. There is a lot of battery beggars on this floor somehow as well. And there is also probably a secret room over here, might as well try, I have a decent amount of bombs available. And indeed there is. Thank you room layout for making these things slightly more obvious at times. And this is one of those times, Not sh don't think there's a tinted rock here, but there is a lot of things I can blow up. 90% angel room chance, it wouldn't be the first time that we wouldn't get it with those odds, but I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I'm feeling like uh, it might end up working out, hopefully. But it is a little awkward to fight some of these enemies in combination with the hallowed ground, trying to stand in one location while not getting destroyed by these enemies can be a little bit fiddly. Mr. Me is a little tempting, but not a lot. Um, just because we're not really going for devil deals either. That's an active item, so that's effectively nothing. Usually I would probably take Lemon Mishap over the poop, but the fact that we got Hallowed Ground again makes that just a little bit less good, unfortunately. Just doesn't seem like it's worth the trade with the amount of tier rate that I'm getting every time I'm standing next to a door. Uh, I should probably deal with these red flames first before causing trouble. Should I just make this room more difficult on myself because I feel kind of bad for these enemies not being able to do anything. Also, does this... this keeps the button pushed as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This room just confuses me for the most part and I don't really understand it, but... Fair enough that they give you the option to just destroy enemies, I guess, before they can really do anything to you, but it just seems mean to the enemies at times where... They're just trying to do their best, but they're surrounded entirely by spikes, like what are you gonna do? I mean, they'll probably survive the spikes, truth be told, if they tried, but still, that just doesn't seem like it's in their... in their lifeblood to even try to go over the spikes, unfortunately. Although I think the spikes actually do push them back, so they might actually be properly stuck behind those spikes in general. Pretty fly. Don't mind that. Unfortunately, my hallowed ground got destroyed there by several explosions, but that's okay, I suppose. A little bit annoying. That is not terrible. Better than nothing, at least. Could try to go all the way back to that room in the top right to see if there's anything interesting over there, but honestly, I'm good. I think there's a super secret room here. Once again, just uh, basing that entirely on the room layout and not so much on anything else. I mean, it's map layout wise, it probably works as well, but the room layout is more telling than the map itself from some of those situations. There we go. Got another key as well. Nope, not there. That's actually kind of surprising. It could be over here, I guess, as well. No? Neither of those places. Fair enough. Genuinely quite surprised by that, but there you go. You can't win them all. Carrion Queen. God. Not really getting the easiest bosses this time around, unfortunately, but given the fact that we have a kind of okay build. I mean, damage-wise, it's still not exactly ideal, and then there are situations where the uh, hallowed ground poop gets destroyed and I'm just in a kind of a predicament because I don't really have much else going on for me <laughs> except for decent movement speed and the fact that doors stay open behind me a lot but not quite always. Let's just put a bomb down. That does speed up the fight quite a bit I suppose if you actually use the ability that the carrion queen can eat bombs just like uh, Larry Jr. I believe. Not Larry Jr. Is it Larry Jr.? No, it's uh, Chubb? I think his name is Chubb. Just like that boss does. <laughs> and end up doing a little bit more damage. Just get a soul heart randomly. Also a health up, which is also a soul heart, I suppose. The active item, Delirious. So again, nothing we can actually take from this angel room either. It's getting to be a little bit disappointment, uh, disappointing at this stage because I could do this to make the angel room look a little bit different and if I just wait long enough I think I keep the flies that this boss spawns so at least that would be something and provided I don't stay next to him too much then it's at least you know a couple of flies unfortunately you don't keep the boss it's himself and that would probably be the better part of that item seems kind of weird with the plum flute being in the game as well like I understand that they actually need to destroy this particular boss before um 
before it's actually properly away, and Plum Flute just goes away pretty quickly, honestly. But still, it just... It seems like Plum Flute is probably better than Delirious, <laughs> which has a 12-room recharge. I guess mostly because of that 12-room recharge that it is probably better, but still, it's just... It's an Angel Room item and everything, and Plum Flute you can just get by waiting for a bit, and just... Uh, it's just unfortunate, yeah. Might as well... I was tempted to grab that key with a poop, because I really probably should, since I don't have that many keys, but I kind of forgot about it. Uh, which was the main reason, honestly. Uh, this is a little scary, but somehow that worked out. I genuinely don't fully understand how, but because some of those got real close to me. <laughs> but it ended up being okay, so fair enough, I suppose. I'm a little tempted to actually just go to the chest instead of the... Um, uh, the dark room, really, but that's mostly just because I would like to have four regular items rather than devil deal items, I suppose, but I don't know. I suppose we should see how the rest of the run goes. Maybe we'll actually find a decent item somewhere that's not requiring me to stand in the doorway to fight anything. I'm not even gonna bother. Nice thing about Mercurius is that I can just choose not to. <laughs> And I guess if I end up getting a devil deal here that ends up being good, then I might consider to do sacrifice room as well, but it's a lot of health to spend right now. But if I could sacrifice some of my health first, then I would feel more inclined to do it if I didn't have the health already anyway. Hmm, Trixie. Let's just try and bomb this. Very nice. An eternal heart. Not terrible, I suppose, but not super exciting. It's only one extra soul heart at the end of the day. Uh, this is not a great place for that poop to be because there is a lot of enemies going to be there and also probably some explosions and just all around bad things. So we're just going to take our time here. Really surprised that these tiny hopping spiders aren't as dangerous as I, as I feel like they should be because there is quite a lot of them. And they do tend to get quite close, but none of them are really hitting me for some reason. And I appreciate it, but I'm just a little confused by it in general. That's another hallowed ground, which I instantly destroyed with my very high tier rate, because I was not ready for it at all. <laughs> there we go. Slowly but surely. Ah, the enemy floated all the way to the other side of the room. But fortunately, these enemies will mostly chase me around rather than just flying around in a pattern. So we did get some use out of it in the end. And that is somewhat nice, at least. That is not terrible. Probably better than what I currently had. Probably. <laughs> Let's see if there's a dice room or something on this floor, because, jeez... There is just not a lot of good items in this run. It started off pretty promising. This trinket's pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy about that at least, but ugh. I could really use something that's not either an active item or just garbage. <laughs> One of those two items, please. That would that would be a good criteria for the next item that I would like to receive. Maybe my shop has like a stopwatch or something or Something else nice, I suppose, but that's really the only thing I can hope for right now. A little tempted to use a poop to get those two bombs for the price of one, I suppose, as well. What depths are we on? Depths one. And we're almost certainly not going to be reaching the boss rush unless we find Mama Mega on the next floor, because I am not getting rid of what I currently have. I guess I'll take this. It's not terrible. This might, might be a chaos card? Arrow walk. Not bad, but not chaos. <laughs> I would have preferred chaos for sure. Did not expect the skeleton hands in this room. Which is why I just stood next to them as they landed. But it ended up working out, so that was lucky. There is a shop waiting for me right there. I'm hoping it's not greed. Should maybe look for my secret room real quick. But I have exactly one bomb. And there is... Uh, couple of options available from the look of things. Mostly like next to the item room or above this room right here. I'm not sure if anything is like... It cannot be there. It can definitely be next to the item room over here, I think. I uh, can't quite... Well, maybe if I do this. 
This might be worthwhile. Unfortunately, the uh, the thing was not there, but we did end up going to that one gray chest, which didn't really have a bunch of stuff. We could get those bombs uh, and open up the... Uh, just not very excited by any of this. I'm, temp I'm actually getting kind of tempted to go for the sacrifice room strat, but I don't like the idea very much. It's just not a very safe strategy. It's more the thing. It feels probably more dangerous than it's worth. That concerns me a little. But we'll see, I suppose. In the end, we can take that eternal heart to leave this floor with two and a half hearts if need be, which isn't terrible, I guess. <laughs> Probably should have blown up the shopkeeper, though, eh? Although I didn't have any bombs, I guess. So that does make it a little bit more difficult in general. But I'm just going to chill over here. This seems to be working out fairly well. So far, this boss is cooperating rather nicely, which I appreciate. And this phase of the boss usually dies rather quickly anyway. Not a devil deal. Which I don't love. Might as well destroy these poops. Yeah, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go for the old... Terrible strat. <laughs> which is the sacrifice room right now. But it is a lot of health that I'm spending on that, unfortunately, but... Ultimately, I could get seven soul hearts out of it if we're lucky. That might be worthwhile. At least that's two more bombs, so I can at least try to go for my secret room as well, which should be over here. And if I do this... And... Try and place this somewhat close to there. There we go. We can at least get a key as well. Could maybe... And that's not... Well, I mean, it is greed, which it is kind of what I wanted, I suppose. But it's not quite what I want right now. Unfortunately, with greed, the door also closes behind you. So, once again, Mercurius not really paying out right now. But fair enough, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I think... I think I'm just going to go for the sacrifice room. <laughs> Having given it some thought. You know what? Let's just do it. Uh, could actually... Might as well actually give this demon beggar some health then as well. No real harm. Not sure what is defending me right now. Might be the hallowed ground, I guess. But I am not losing a lot of health doing this, and I kind of appreciate it. That's the nail. Which I personally don't care a whole lot about, but... Uh, it does mean we can leave the floor with another extra half a black heart, so that's kind of nice, I guess. And we're playing this game again for a while. The old walk into the same spikes repeatedly and hope we get at least something. Probably should have done this before going to the boss room, but I wasn't expecting our luck to be quite as, um, as this. <laughs> quite as this, indeed. Oop, that's an angel room item. Not a great one, but it's something. It is part of the Seraphim transformation as well, which... Um, is that two or three parts of that stage? It might be two, because I think uh, Scapular is part of that transformation as well. And we did get the Soul Heart, so actually, this was an amazing idea. That was just a great way to get slightly more health than I originally had before starting this whole idea. But we now have the option to double tap in a certain attack direction and it will create a small shield for a little bit. And that could be good, I guess. Um, let's just quickly use the nail once. Definitely not more interested in the nail than I am in the Hallowed Ground, especially after that Tears Down pill. But I do like the fact that we got a... Um, well, some stuff out of it, I guess. We are leaving this floor with a decent amount of health, so that's good. I should actually uh, grab the item from my item room, which uh, I was trying to re-roll, but unfortunately did not find a way to do so. But I genuinely also kind of forgot about it. <laughs> but ultimately, it doesn't make that big of a difference. It's a little bit more defense. It's not the best item in the world by any means, but yeah, fair enough, I guess. Definitely don't feel too inclined to do another sacrifice room strat at this stage with the amount of health we have right now, but having said that, <laughs> it is um, our main source of build. That's not really true either. Our main source of build has mostly been 
getting Hallowed Ground. Uh, it's really been the one thing that has been keeping this run going by any means at all, really, because, quite frankly, it is very effective at dealing with my problems, as long as I don't destroy it by accident. Specifically with this character as well. Any other character would just have the most miserable time right now, but specifically the blue baby is having an okay time with it all. I didn't know that these poops were actually causing some defense though, because I feel like I'm getting a lot more defense than I am anticipating. Like with that demon baby, I lost barely any health with the amount of hearts that I ended up actually giving that baby, so it's kind of unreal how powerful that can be, I guess. Maybe that's why I haven't been taking so much damage as well, that they got close but never quite hit me, but they, maybe they just did, I just didn't notice that I was flashing. That wouldn't surprise me so much, I guess, because they were getting real close. Can you please, though? <laughs> How long? 27 minutes? We might make hush if we skip seven floors in a row, but it seems fairly unlikely. I'm actually just gonna put a couple coins in here to maybe get like a luck up or something, maybe some extra angel room chance. Yeah, 58% angel room chance and a luck up. That's not the worst thing to get out of uh, putting coins into that machine, so I'll take it, I guess. Usually it's only the skeletons that can shoot at an angle, but finally I have the power as well, and I appreciate it. It does make life a lot easier against these enemies, but unfortunately... They are a little bit far away at times when the room is quite so large, but most of them has been destroyed, so it's fine. No worries yet. Uh, the secret room could be here, and if it's not there, then at least I can just get a bomb back anyway, so that's fine. And I can get a key this way as well with relative safety. I could actually just do that without blowing it up as well, I suppose, but just doing that. But it's arguably a little bit safer to do it the way I did, so I'm going to take it. Might as well blow up the shopkeeper for that extra angel and devil deal room chance. The devil deal is fairly low odds, but still technically not impossible. Tempted to save Arrow Walk for Mega Satan, but... Genuinely not 100% sure what the best idea is here. Getting a lot of health at least. <laughs> like, in terms of defense, we're getting a build. But that's unfortunately not, not the only part of a build at the end of the day. I wouldn't mind some just a little bit more offense. I'm also poisoning an odds with my trinket. Right, that makes sense. This is pretty doable. Some enemies are just running into flames as well, which I can appreciate. A little bit concerned by these red flames, but... Ultimately, they are dealing more damage to the enemy than to me, so that's fine, I suppose. Most of these enemies were near dead when I actually got close to them, so... Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad indeed. There we are. Two keys. Very good. Uh, let's just go all out. All out angel room chance. 2.5% extra chance. You can't lose with these odds. Yep. <laughs> That was the most confident I've ever said anything, I feel. Ah, uh, this is so awkward. Uh, let's just put that poop over there and hope that that's not gonna bite me in the butt. I'm not sh I I'm guessing they can probably just fly over the poop. But they're not doing it, so it's clearly working out. Very nice. Money equals power. That's actually not bad. <laughs> For once, it is. it actually appeared. It's in a time when I have a lot of money as well. Very good. It's a good thing I've been saving a million dollars, because otherwise this item wouldn't be as good. But as it stands, that's a decent damage up right there. Killing pretty much everything in one hit here, so that's good. Need to stay close to these hallowed ground poops, unfortunately, but yeah, fair enough. A humbling bundle will probably end up giving me more money than I lose. Not guaranteed, but it's not the worst odds in the world. Definitely feel like these hallowed ground poops are protecting me a lot more than I give them credit for. <laughs> I just wasn't aware. I just was not aware that that was actually a thing that happened until I started giving hearts to that demon baby and my whole world changed. Maybe that's just been every run so far. Maybe I'm just getting defended by all sorts of things and I just never noticed. Genuinely wouldn't be surprised. I get away with a lot of nonsense, honestly, but... It would be an unfortunate explanation of events, I suppose, if that has been the case, that I've just been getting a guardian angel to watch over all of my runs, because I feel like it doesn't make the actual game that representative anymore if you need to get a literal guardian angel to watch over you while playing it. 
This feels a little bit different at the end of the day, you know? There we go. None of those were doubled, but, you know. It was something. Give me that. A lot of keys. No bombs. Could check for one more super secret room place. Very good. <laughs> happy I did. Am I happy I did? <laughs> we're gonna find out if I'm happy I did. A lot of pretty flies. Tears up. Very good. Shot speed down, but I feel like for the tears up, it was probably worthwhile. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're doing okay damage, provided that the hello ground poop is there. And if you could just stop stomping on it, that would be lovely, because there's enough other parts for you to hit. But this is just mean. <laughs> uh, fair enough. At least we did a lot of starting damage there. We just need to get through the rest of this fight, I suppose. There's no tinted rocks for as far as I can tell. I might be wrong on that, but I think I'm seeing that okay. Let me just uh, deal some contact damage to mom's foot right there, and definitely on purpose. And... Tempted to take like half a heart of damage, just for the sake of like being able to use a sacrifice room if I really needed to. But simultaneously, we're gonna get a lot of angel rooms, and I don't really feel like it. Ah, void. Not bad usually, but unfortunately not something I can quite use right now. When uh, half of my build consists of my active item. <laughs> Don't mind having a golden key for this, though. Hmm. Probably wanted to use Void on that, actually, because that would have been a stat up. Uh, yeah, I'm actually... Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that because then I'll get rid of the poop. Never mind. Don't want to do that. That's a terrible idea. Probably don't want this over the green flies. And with that, onwards we go. I'm tempted to just run past everything on this floor. I don't love a scarred womb, as I may have said once or twice before. Uh, once or twice being about effectively a million times at this rate, I would probably imagine. But since I have the option anyway, I might as well try and skip through as many rooms as possible since I feel like there's not going to be much positive stuff waiting for me here. Alright, world card, don't mind that. Secret room, don't mind that either. And there's effectively nothing of interest here from the look of this floor, so I'm just gonna destroy these shopkeepers and leave, I think. Might as well get these coins as well, but... Other than that, we're just gonna make a run for it. From the look of things, don't love this... Oh, God. Oh, surprised I didn't take damage there, if I'm honest, but... It ended up working out somehow. I did not expect these enemies to drop creep on the floor, and that really caught me off guard, but... Yeah, fair enough. Run, run, run. This is the nice thing about Mercurius. We are going to be a little bit low on consumables, but we're going to be higher on health because we don't have to deal with all the nasty enemies that are in Scarred Womb, so... That's not too bad. Ended up getting two bombs. And unfortunately, this door doesn't open, but that is most of the floor taken care of by just running for it, so... And with that world card as well, I don't need to worry about actually missing out on anything, so definitely don't mind any of this. For the most part, I mean, there could have been like a... Uh, battery beggar or a coin beggar that we could have blown up for some extra angel room chance or devil deal. Still have to deal with this boss, unfortunately, which I'm not sure if we've fought before, but... Uh, usually this one's quite nasty. As it stands, I think I'm just gonna stand next to a poop and wait. Uh, and it did the same bug that Delirium sometimes does, and now there's a hundred red hearts on the floor. <laughs> but it's like this two-phase boss, and it... It has all these different bosses inside of it as well, and it's like a whole thing, but... Yeah, it, it kind of bugged out. If I was a Red Heart character, I'd be uh, happier than ever I, right now, I'd say. If I could get Dark Bomb, that'd be pretty neat. Growth Hormones, though, I will settle with because that's amazing. It's a lot of extra damage. My tier rate isn't amazing, except when I'm standing next to Hallow Ground, but other than that, it's alright. My damage is 10 and more when I'm standing next to the... Uh, the thing. The hallowed ground, so it's all right, yeah. Plus being able to just do this is just really nice because I can just save a, a lot of health that way. I think the flies unfortunately only spawn once from this trinket rather than every time I re-enter the room, so that's a little unfortunate at the end of the day, but nothing that's not survivable, so fair enough. It's a lot of keys. 
And a super secret room with a lot of red hearts. A lot of red hearts on these uh, womb floors for some reason. Fair enough, I suppose. But I wouldn't have minded soul hearts instead. It's kind of an unrealistic expectation to get quite so many soul hearts, I guess. But it just would have been nice to get something slightly more effective. Another angel room at the end of the run. Very good. That's a lot of extra damage. I think that's Seraphim as well. Fairly sure it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's flight right there. We look like an angel. So that's fun. We got a whole bunch of different wings. We got the Mercurius wings and the regular angel wings as well. All sorts of wings on wings on wings. So all in all, pretty damn good. Let's just keep going. Suddenly the run went a lot quicker. Now I'm just running through every single floor. But that's the way it is with this item. Usually there's just not that much positivity to be gotten in places like the Womb and Shoal. There is occasionally rooms where there's suddenly a shop or something that you're not ever quite ready for. But I think I'm just going to assume that none of them are going to be quite worth it compared to just saving my health at the end of the day. So with that energy, let's just fly through all of this. That's... Don't know what that is. I'm a little curious. Would there be a mini boss there? I'm a little tempted to try because now now my interest is a little peaked, I suppose. Like why can I not go in here? There is a mini boss here. That's fair enough. That's why the door didn't open, because that's how mini boss rooms work. You cannot bomb into those rooms either. But since I went in here, might as well do this. Ansu's Um I'm just gonna use that. Uh, might as well go for my secret room while I'm at it, I suppose. Since it's right there anyway. Uh, which room is the least horrible? This one, I guess. Let's just destroy all these enemies so we don't need to worry about them anymore. Didn't get anything nice there, but we did get five more coins. So we end up dealing a little bit more damage. Don't mind that. We can quickly enter our super secret room as well before going into the Satan boss fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. And, yeah, our damage is just really nice right now. The fact that we're dealing so much damage per shot is so good. That's one bad chest, but one good one as well, so I appreciate that. And let's go fight Satan. Yeah, we did it. Shoot a whole bunch in that rough direction, and unfortunately, my hallowed ground got destroyed. I probably should have saved that for the actual Satan fight, but at the end of the day, it's not the most difficult fight. It's one of the more tedious ones in the game, for sure. Um, probably surprisingly tricky compared to some of the other fights that the other roots have, but once you're kind of used to it, it is mostly just standing in front of him and occasionally not standing in front of him. Which, uh, if you're really trying... It, I feel like I have to try a lot harder with this boss not to take damage compared to some of the other ones. But maybe that's just because I've not done this path at the end of the day quite as often as the other paths as well. Just because um, back in my day there, it was just better to do the chest always. <laughs> it was just a lot of a better choice because you didn't have things like devil deal items at the start of the floor. You just had four red chests that were all garbage most of the time. And it is definitely a lot different now. Especially with the negative giving you a damage up as well. Like, there's so many nice things that were added in Repentance for um, making this path just a lot nicer in general. And I appreciate it. Forget me now in the basement? That's pretty damn good. It's basically the five dice room to uh, repeat a floor. Which can lead to some good items. Um, I don't really want any of this. <laughs> I don't recall if I touched the book or not at any point. Also, once again, we can also just skip rooms with Mercurius, even in this floor right here. So we are going to get some use out of that. The circling tears are destroying uh, my poops. That's not great. That is not great at all. Like, unless I probably stand really close to it. Um, which is which is an option, uh, honestly. But my range just never really went up that much. <laughs> so that's a little annoying for sure. I'll take this as well. Any room that's like not like horrendous to clear, I'm just going to clear for the sake of trying to get a few more items. Because I would like to have 
Just more tier 8, really, for the Mega Satan fight. Don't really care too much about the Lamb, because the Lamb's going to die fairly quickly. But Mega Satan I'm a little concerned about with some of those phases in particular. Because our damage is fine. Our damage is really good. This is a very tiny room. Took some very unnecessary damage there, but fair enough. Okay. Not sure where my secret room, super secret room, any of that is, unfortunately. But there is some options. Don't mind this. These bosses die fairly quickly, usually. A little bit scary that it's two of them, but it's working out. My movement was very strange. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't take any damage, but like I said, it's working out. Don't worry about it. There you go. No item. Maggie's faith is nothing. We haven't done Delirium on this character yet either. Uh, which is worth remembering. Don't love this room. I'm uh, just going to put that in between me and the danger. <laughs> and it ended up working out rather well. No items still, unfortunately. Got to remember that arrow wall card. I'll actually take this. Uh, should I try this against the big ones? Because it does block them for a bit. I might be able to get rid of at least one of them this way. Yeah, wow. Now I just have to deal with this one. I'm surprised that didn't damage me, but again, I'll take it. The creep is not going to hurt me because I have flight. But I gotta watch out for those rocks. The rocks are a real danger during this fight. Because they can go all over the place. And if you're dodging in that direction where they're going, then you're going to take damage, and that's just unfortunate. But it was worth one. <laughs> it was worth one. <laughs> It is. It was some items, at least, you know. It's at least a little more, I guess, at the end of the day. This I don't really love. I'm just going to leave that alone for now. This I can manage because it's only one, but it is a, a scary one at the end of the day, I suppose. But it should be dead reasonably soon. There we go. Two more chests. Pause. Can I use... Pause, maybe combined with Gemini? I'm actually kind of curious. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's stupid. I mean, it's working. If I start shooting now, they're going to activate and start attacking me. But if I just sit here with my Me Cube and my Gemini, then I should be safe for 30 seconds, I think. They do activate after a while, I do believe, but... I'm just going to chill over here for a bit while these two monster twos are getting mostly destroyed, at least. Once this guy starts moving... Yep, there you go. It's not the most fun way of doing things, but it does work. <laughs> it, it does work at least a little bit. And I can kind of appreciate that much, at least. Kind of tempted to go for those two other enemies there as well now, thinking about it. Because I can just recharge the item over here. Because these bosses aren't too bad with the amount of damage that I'm dealing. I could also use a bomb to make life even easier. Like that's more or less, yeah, that just destroys them. Same for that one, probably. More or less, at least. And I can use pause again. I can either use it in the big room or against those two enemies. Three carrion queens? I don't think I even want to. <laughs> even with pause, I just... I can't really be bothered. Uh, let's just have you... There you go. There you go. That's a good little demon. Unfortunately, this is a two-phase boss, and I think the second phase is going to just activate immediately. But I might be able to get away with using bomb. Never mind, they don't activate immediately. They're just going to sit here for a bit. All right. The tears are still moving, interestingly enough, which I didn't know it would work that way. Let's see if we can do as much damage as possible with at least a little movement. Uh, it should be soon that they... that this one is going to... Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's a lot of enemies right there, but not impossible at the end of the day. Uh, okay, it took way more damage than I really should have. <laughs> Hopefully worth. Nope. Oh, justice. justice. Yeah, uh, I mean, didn't really hurt at the end of the day, I suppose, so fair enough. Okay, let's go back to the poop because this is a very boring strategy, though. These are not the worst carrion queens, though. Like, it's the champion kind that drops the little hearts rather than the red poops, and that's not too worrying. Uh, 
provided I move right. It's going to take a minute, but I don't mind it. Can't really use hallowed ground that well here because it is a lot of dodging, unfortunately, but... I mean, they'll die eventually, or at least they'll start flying around. They're not dropping their hearts around, weirdly enough, but maybe that's just because they don't do that here? I don't know. Maybe that's just like a room thing. They don't do it in the dark room. Maybe it's because there's three of them and there's like a max amount of enemies that can be on screen with this thing. I don't know. Don't fully understand, but either way, they're trying to drop the hearts. It's just nothing is coming out. <laughs> It's a little unusual. They're not doing their diagonal attack either. They're just dying. Very strange. I guess they might just be a little bit different on this particular room or something or this floor. I don't know. Only makes it easier at the end of the day, I suppose, because I, I'm, I usually do struggle a bit with the whole diagonal nonsense, but this is doable enough the way it is. Mostly just switching back and forth between the two right now. It's a weird choice, though. That's... They still at least try to do the attack if nothing comes out, but yeah, fair enough. I'll take it at the end of the day. Half a soul heart. Definitely worthwhile. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yes. Two adversaries I am not interested in. <laughs> that is uh, almost certainly just going to end up hurting me, so I'd rather not try and bother. There is a battery here, so if I want to use pause, I could do it at least one more time. Which I guess I could do against the two adversaries. Don't hate that idea, actually. Well, let's just throw that down. I uh, got a little bit of tear out of it, I think, but not a whole lot. I think if I kill these, I get a soul heart. Unfortunately, I took damage at the very end there, but yeah, fair enough. Two ragmen. That is entirely okay. They have very little health because they are basement bosses. And as such, we'll die relatively quickly. And there is Monstro 2 again. With a lot of brimstone next to him, so he ended up dying immediately. Okay, what do we have here? Bunch of runes. Don't hate that. Don't hate that at all. There is Algis. There is also Ansu, so let's just throw that down. Uh, Yera. If there's a chest anywhere else on this floor, then I'm tempted. Okay, so Algis could be good. Soul of Judas. Uh, I could use Algis to fight the two adversaries. I'm actually tempted to do that. I'm going to have Soul of Judas for this, because I'm hoping that's going to be pretty good. Because this boss does have a tendency to throw a lot of tears, and that can be pretty nice. Didn't know this boss even spawned flies, but fair enough, I guess. I feel like that's something I've never noticed before in my life. Maybe it's just one of those bosses that usually dies so quickly that it's hard to notice, or maybe the flies just die that quickly, but I've never actively paid attention to the fact that spawn the flies come out of him at times, I guess. It's fine, I suppose. It's just a little unusual. Let's just do that. That went a little weird, I guess, but like it took a really long time for the thing to actually happen. Oh. Yes, become gold and die. God, this damage is surprisingly low for 13 damage per shot. I would really love to be capped out on tier 8. That would be so nice. At least at the end of this, we're going to be done with the lamb, but I am concerned about um, Mega Satan for sure. But uh, there's a couple more things on our post-it, so that is lovely. What do we have over here? The poop one. We got a golden poop because of Midas's touch, I guess? That's not good. <laughs> That's not what I want at all. I mean, in most situations, I'd be pretty happy with Midas's touch doing that with the poop, but in this very specific situation, I'm actually a little disappointed by that. Even with money equals power. That's so strange when you think about it. But fair enough, I suppose. Um... Right, so Algis is an option. I could use Arrow Walk against him as well, but I don't feel like it works that well. And mostly I just want some more items, really. So, let's just do that. Just gonna meet Cube into them for a bit. Okay, they do actually die really quickly. <laughs> it probably does help that the meat Cube is dealing so much damage right now, but... Yeah, that, that actually went a lot quicker than I had anticipated. Fair enough. I suppose Hagalaz and Yara is still waiting for us. Definitely forgot about Yara instantly, but... 
Kind of good to remember it now, I suppose. Hopefully we find a chest before I forget again. It's not impossible. Uh, there wasn't a key beggar anywhere on this floor, right? No, not that I can see. Key beggar plus Yara would be pretty damn good as well. Ah, God. Uh, oh my God, there's so many Yaras. I just... I regret opening all the chests already. I did not expect to be getting quite as many Yaras. I am getting a little annoyed about Midas's touch, as it turns out. I really didn't expect that to be that big of a deal, but it is. <laughs> it is really just getting in the way a lot more than I had anticipated. Fair enough, I suppose, but... Uh. All right. Um, well, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Sierra. Yara. Throw it down there. Uh, we've already been in every other room, so we can't really get anything else good. Another Yara. And just for the sake of getting all the way full health. Yeah, I definitely do regret opening that one chest that we... Or two chests, rather, I guess. Uh, we opened four. We opened a couple chests on this floor. But definitely regret opening them. <laughs> I was not prepared to yeah. get so many ruins. Because that would have been so many extra chests had I not done that. But, yeah. Wasn't prepared for that, unfortunately. But let's see what Arrow Walk is like. Um, I could probably take one of these effectively for free. How many hearts were still left in that room? I think it's like... Is it just one or two? Two. Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about any of the items here, if I'm honest. So, I don't think I'm going to bother. Pause could be really good, actually, as well. Against the phase with the many um, enemies as well. I think I might just do that. Even if it is... Uh, one could call it a weak strategy <laughs> in terms of excitingness. But it is probably fairly effective. There was no Awas rune, so I can't open up the hole there. That would have been silly if I used all those Yaras and then realized I could just dig a hole. But I don't think I have a way to do that. Alright, let's go. Uh, maybe I could have gotten conjoined, I guess, if I took both of those babies, but I don't feel like that was worth it at all, so I'm not too bothered. The main unfortunate thing right now is that we can't use that hallowed ground immediately, but I think overall the defensiveness of Arrow Walk um, is probably going to be better than the offensiveness of the hallowed ground poop, which is honestly very difficult to use during this fight in my current situation since it is uh, maybe if I put it like exactly in the corner or something but other than that I don't really have a very good place to put it and that concerns me a bit just gonna keep shooting here for a while that's one way to get uh, hello ground poop I guess uh, not really too concerned about creep this time around so I can just focus on the left one first a little bit sad with the Hallowed Ground got destroyed so quickly, but, you know, that's the way it is. I'm mostly saving Arrow Walk right now in case I either get really low on health or Delirium. Because I think for Delirium, it would be amazing. But also fighting Delirium with this build is going to make me cry. And I'm not really looking forward to crying in, in a video yet, but this might be the one. Because <laughs> uh, it's just taking so long to kill any of these, really. It's not impossible, but it's more of a struggle than I'm used to with this boss for sure. And it's really only because of the tier 8. All the other stats are really high, but the tier 8 is just kind of horrendous. But fair enough. We're making it through. We're doing some damage. We have completed the first wave of nastiness. That's nice. Envy, I'm not too concerned about. The second wave, neither. But the third one does have a tendency to hit me, so I will just use pause for that. Although I could save pause for the last phase, but it's just so hard to tell how much that's really going to do. So I think I'm not going to bother with that. I think I'd rather just try and survive the third wave of these enemies instead. Uh, come on. Nearly done here. I would say. I would expect. There we go. Pause. 
All right, we're gonna sit here for a little bit. Just trying to destroy some enemies. I think I can just walk. Nope, can't walk through them. Don't know why I had that thought. <laughs> Still ended up taking damage. I, I don't know. I feel like I had pause once and I could just walk through stuff, but maybe I'm misremembering. I probably am. Every time you see like a little blood spatter, you know that the boss is dead and you can just move on to the next one as well. There we go. Very nice. Pause used to its effectiveness. Possibly not its maximum effectiveness, because I probably could have used it on the second phase of Mega Satan and just done a whole bunch of damage that way. But I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. Stood right in front of this boss. I mean, his hands weren't glowing, but I, I'm always a little bit scared that lasers are going to hit me in the face. Because that's one of them angel things that angels do at the end of the day. Fortunately, little Gemini here is doing his best to destroy these bosses to the best of his abilities as well, and I can appreciate that. We are nearing the end of the fight of phase one. Couldn't quite tell the sound he made there, but fortunately I dodged away in, in case it was Brimstone. Ah, this is a little fiddly. Can I really only attack hands right now, but... I mean, that's still something, I suppose. Getting rid of the hands is not the worst thing, because it's a little bit less damage that he can do like this. There we go. One hand down. There we go. Onwards to phase two. This has certainly been a fight so far. I think I can just sort of sit here, but I guess it's probably not the safest thing to do. The safest thing to do right now is probably just use Era Walk and win, but... I d there's a part of me that's like, nah, just just shoot him for a bit. Occasionally walk towards him after an attack to use that meat cube a little bit. But other than that, don't worry so much. Gemini is going to be the, the MVP at the end of this fight, I'm sure. I have to stand so close for Gemini to do something against this phase, and it's so scary. Definitely not worthwhile, I'd say. Ah, I was worried about that. <laughs> That's okay, though. His, his face is getting a little cracked. His, his little skull is getting some some holes inside of it. So that's good, I suppose. Never really a huge fan of this attack. It always makes me really nervous. Even though it's, it seems rare that it actually hits. But it, it is just a very nerve-wracking attack at the end of the day. And yeah, there you go. This weird attack as well, where he just shoots tears randomly and I... I'm also never quite ready for it to even exist. I'm just going to sit over here for a while and just shoot upwards and hope for the best. I mean, we're getting there. So we got that. We do got that. But I would be okay if a delirium portal didn't open. <laughs> I mean, I'll go through it if I have to, but god. It's just so boring. <laughs> this build is so boring. <laughs> Blue baby, question mark baby, all these great things. Curse of the unknowns, so I can't actually see my health. I can definitely tell where this run is going to end. It is on this floor. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true whether we win or lose, but it is... Oof. It has been a journey. Definitely going to try and clear as much as possible because we have like five hearts right now and I'm not loving that health situation currently. Hoping to maybe get some more hearts on the way here. This is worrying. Somehow didn't take damage there and I'll take that. Scarred womb room. Always fun. It's my favorite of the rooms. Hoping to find some tinted rocks maybe. Maybe an Ansu's rune, that'd be nice, I suppose. Uh, maybe just a delirium fight instantly and we can just die. That would also be a decent option. I mean, we do have pause. Uh, we have pause, we have arrow walk, we have not immediately terrible chances. It's just that uh, delirium is tricky, as I've said every single run that I've done of this game where delirium is involved. And then I took a damage from that right there, which is unfortunate. Uh, what are we doing here? Should I blow up skulls? I guess I probably should, huh? There's no way that the secret room can be there, I think, but yeah, I figured I might as well try. Sometimes you just gotta believe in your own gusto. Sometimes that's more important. Okay, so this is a pretty much a prime contender for Delirium, I suppose. I wish I had some way to teleport out of the fight if I needed to. 
because I don't feel very comfortable going into a boss room right now. <laughs> I could look for my super secret room as well, I guess, in rooms like this, because this is not the worst place for it to be, but... The downside of this floor is just that it's so unlikely to find them. So I'm not gonna look around th that way just yet. Um, curious what the best place would be to try and get health right now as well, because... Obviously the bosses would probably be not a terrible place to look. Because they could have items that give health at the end of the day. But simultaneously there is also the whole... Uh, there might be delirium <laughs> thing. <laughs> or I could just run into a flame and take damage that way. So there is some concern. What makes you small could make me tiny. This is not great, but worked out fortunately. The flight is definitely helping out. Very happy with my Seraphim transformation still. As it is helping me out. I should also remember that I can just use pause in any big room and not worry too much about life. There we go. Probably should have checked if I could get Yara somewhere, but... You know what? That's okay. Okay, so it's definitely... Probably not these two, I would say. Uh, so I'm just actually going to go into both, I think. Um, and I will do this as cheesily as I can. Having Gemini on one of them, meat cubes and leprosy things on the other one. See who wins. Probably the meat cube. I mean, I did do some damage to the left one as well. So yeah, fair enough. Meat cube is a lot more strong, a lot more powerful than Gemini at the end of the day. Blood bombs for one extra hell red heart container, which I'm pretty sure is going to equate to a soul heart as well. So I don't mind that. Death probably could have charged up. Uh, pause again first, but yeah. I just felt like it hopefully wasn't necessary. And so far it seems to be going okay. The horse is taking care of the enemies. The death is spawned, so that's also good. Battery? Don't mind that. That is actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, because it means that I can use pause twice in one fight. That is a lot of pause. Devil, devil. Not too interested in that, unfortunately, but fair enough. Couple of portals, no big deal. Tempted to go into the boss room right now because my health is actually okay, but it's not, like, super high. Wouldn't mind looking around for a little bit longer for sure. Um, but, I don't know. The fact that we have two pause, like, that's a lot of pause right there. Combined with arrow walk as well, like we have a lot of ways to make tears slow, and I feel like that's going to be fairly important. This worries me. Ended up not mattering too much. Where is that? <laughs> what was that enemy doing? <laughs> he just walked over the hole and everything? He didn't care? I don't know if that was just one that had flight or something in some way, but I don't feel like I've seen that happen before. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I guess, if that's what the enemies want to do at the end of the day, but it just seems a little unusual. Rooms like this, I don't mind. Give me soul hearts. Or Dagas runes. Actually, I really wouldn't mind a Dagas rune of all things. Uh, this, I'm fairly sure, cannot be Delirium. Mama Gertie, not the scariest boss if you have flight. And look at that. We do. Because that spike attack is horrendous. But all of the other attacks don't really matter that much if you just stay in the bottom side of the screen. Because it's mostly just large quantities of tears flying somewhere roughly towards you. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm a little tempted to go for the other boss room over there as well. Because I feel like it's very close to the one I just did. And might not be Delirium because of that. Also, I feel like it just cannot expand into a bigger boss room either. Because of um, the two rooms next to it. So I think I will actually just go for that boss right there as well, because I feel like that cannot be Delirium with the way this map looks. And indeed it is the Frail, a boss of whom I frequently forget the actual name and just end up calling it Pin... the Pin Pin, I don't know what I'm usually calling it, but it's never quite right. That's at least a little bit of extra tier 8, I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. If we could get like the habit or something, that would be ridiculous because we could just pause forever. 
Maybe 9 volt battery. I'm not sure if we've seen that in this run yet, but I wouldn't mind getting something like that. Just really make the pause strategy as effective as it can possibly be. That'd be neat. That'd be neat indeed. I haven't seen any tinted rocks in this floor to my knowledge. At least I haven't noticed any. So maybe I should just break some random rocks and hope for the best. There's some bombs. Pretty sure that's not going to be delirium either. Really, only that one in the top right and the uh, bottom right, I guess, might be delirium so far. Teratoma, that's not too bad. With this build, at least. I don't think we have spectral tears, which is kind of annoying. Particularly for this room, but other than that, I mean, the boss died already. But it doesn't really matter, does it? I uh, probably should have had that key a lot earlier. Uh, yeah, this might be delirium. I'm actually going to go all the way to the right side because I feel like that is the most likely one to be delirium out of all of the boss rooms here. Because I feel like the other... the mm, I think they might be delirium, the ones on the bottom right. That Those are ones I'm slightly concerned about. The one at the top right I feel definitely could be, but I'm not sure if because the other boss room is so close to the left of it that that ends up excluding it as well. Not really sure how the rules work in that regard. But I'm a little concerned about it for sure. Uh, either way, I feel like so far we have got more health than I lost. However, I have lost track of my health and that concerns me a lot because not knowing my health is... I mean, I'll just play as safely as I can, I guess, but... That's really my only option right now, and I'm not loving that. That's a dead end with a lot of tears, but fortunately that ended up working out. Nothing from that either. Did I not clear the room before the boss there? That's a little unusual. I felt like I did, but yeah, fair enough, I guess. Uh, I think I've also more or less uh, destroyed everything I can destroy, except for maybe some of these rocks here and there, but... I guess I haven't really looked for secret rooms at all, and there are very few places where it could be, I think. At least a regular secret room. No idea about the super secret room, but... I think there's like two places where the secret room could be, with all the boss rooms being next to everything. Unless it's just in a really awkward location somewhere. Or it's over here. <laughs> I guess this might be option number three at the end of the day. Yeah, there you go. X likes unidentified, unidentified, sure. Retrovision, speed up, both are nothing effectively. Probably shouldn't be gobbling on pills at this point in the run, but... You know, could have been balls of steel. Could have been gulp. That is just the worst. <laughs> that is a really unfortunate hit there. I really didn't need to take that, but fair enough, I guess. I'm just going to chalk that up to Retrovision getting in the way. <laughs> it is definitely an excuse, but one that I'm going to call valid enough. At least we got to see the hallowed ground again after so long. It has been a minute. Not sure when I should use pause, though, because I'm tempted to just use it immediately. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like the start of the fight is definitely easier than the later part where everything's really quick. So I probably should wait until it gets kind of horrendous, or I've just taken so many hits that I feel uncomfortable with my current living situation. Either one of those two. Oh my god, we actually found a super secret room. I guess that's some amount of extra defense. I'm not sure what my health is right at right now, but hopefully that's going to end up working out. I'm going to go for bottom right, then next to the bottom right, and then top right, and then bottom left, depending on when we find delirium. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that, I think. That is not Delirium, so I'm happy about that. Probably should have kept some fl some rooms available so I could recharge my item if need be, so I could use pause on other fights as well, but you know what. You realize these things too late. That is 25 coins that I cannot use. Uh, blue baby? Ugh, don't love that. That doesn't fill me with great confidence, because it is a boss with low tier rate that can be a little fiddly for sure. Or no piercing either, because he just ends up spawning a large amount of enemies and my tears aren't really getting that far into him a lot of the time, but we're dealing damage. I wouldn't be surprised if I take a random hit here, maybe two. Granted, we're not done with the fight yet by any means, but... 
Those white flies right there are blocking so many of my attacks right now. <laughs> I could just throw a couple bombs on, I guess, as well. I'm not sure how likely it is any of those are going to hit, but I might hit some of the enemies at least. Which would be nice. A lot of the bombs are actually hitting, so that is good. Oh my god. <laughs> Genuinely surprised that worked out, but I'll take it. Don't mind that. Almost done here. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't believe. But I guess you probably would, given how... I've n I feel like I've never put this much effort into a delirium floor before. Usually when I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious about the delirium fight, it's because my build is still pretty good, but not like what I quite want it to be. But right now my build is just worrying. Uh, the gate? It's not terrible. Don't love that he's spawning spiders, though, but I just have to make do. It's at least not Delirium, so maybe we can get one more just super amazing item before we start the fight. That would just be lovely. Maybe some tier 8. Maybe something interesting, some health. Lord of the Flies transformation. <laughs> I mean, I actually don't hate the red fly uh, with paws in particular, so I'm actually not too dissatisfied by that. But I still wouldn't have minded some health, really. That would have been a really nice extra bonus for the end of that. I'm actually just going to blow these up just in case I'm not looking at these rocks properly. But Yeah, I think it's time that we uh, have to face facts and it's about time that we start fighting Delirium, I guess. Really just trying to get something. <laughs> Maybe just a trap door to open or something. Or a tinted rock that I just didn't quite see, but it ended up having some health inside it. Stuff like that is what I'm looking for right now, but... I think this is just gonna have to be it. I really would have liked it if I could see my health, though. That is my main worry, because I do not know when I'm gonna be dead. And it does change your playstyle a bit if you know your health, for sure. Yeah, no, uh... No thing there either. No magic mushroom. There's a couple mushrooms available. Technically still possible. Unfortunate. Uh, ga bad gas. Pretty good. <laughs> Arrow walk. Alright, that does slow down a lot. I was not actually sure how much this was going to slow down the world. Because I'm drowsy slows it down a bit, but it also slows you down a bit. But Arrow walk. I don't know how long this actually lasts. Like, does it last the entire fight? I'm not sure. Also, it's a little hard to tell which tears are mine and which tears are um, from him because the ones that are circling around me look very similar. Ooh, it's Bambino. That's rare. <laughs> it's not a boss you see very frequently during the Delirium fight, but I'll take it, I guess. Wasn't really doing much of anything. But I wouldn't mind if this lasted the entire time. That did some damage right there, but it also did some damage to me, unfortunately. Let's say after we get hit five times, I'm going to start using pause. I hope that I have that amount of health, but I should. I think I should <laughs> have that amount of health. I, I'm a little worried about it. Maybe after four hits, just in case, because I did get hit a few times, I think. I got two soul hearts earlier. God, this is a mess, though. Maybe Arrow Walk wasn't a great idea, because these tears are staying around forever. I wasn't really prepared for that at all. I mean, the enemies are a lot slower. And it is easier to dodge initially, but it is very tricky to dodge afterwards, though. Pretty fly, that's not going to do anything, unfortunately. Why are you jumping in the corner there? How odd. Doesn't help that he's just invisible now, but... <laughs> Just shooting tears around randomly without actually being physical. That, that is a bit unfortunate when that happens. Uh, okay. There we go. Back in the fight. But I am definitely tempted to just use pause right now. Because... Uh, I kind of want to just run around him, but the, the amount of tears that are currently here are worrying me. But it's also not doing nearly as much damage as I had hoped. <laughs> Definitely was hoping for a lot more here, but yeah, fair enough. That's just the way it is. Trying to get rid of some of these tears with my meat cube as well. 
But it is not an ideal situation. That ended so quickly to my... <laughs> it feels like that did so very little. <laughs> yeah, definitely never gonna use Arrow Walk against this boss again. This has only made things a lot more horrendous, I feel. Maybe if I don't have the tears that are circling around me, because that is messing me up a lot. Because they look... I to me, they look identical to Delirium Tears, and that is really throwing me off. Two angels, that's not good. That's not what you want to see. That's the Matriarch. That's also not what you want to see. Oy, oy. Ragman, I'll take that. Ragman feels a lot easier than all of this nonsense right here. <laughs> Maybe if I just had range. If I had, like, Brimstone or something, then I think Arrow Walk would have still been viable. Because at that point, you don't need to be so close to him anymore, but... It is a bit of a mess right now. Mega Satan. Never love seeing that boss here, because it just ends up making a mess of things as well. Just spawning two horsemen randomly that I have to deal with. Alongside all the other nonsense that's over here. Hallowed Ground has unfortunately already been removed as well, so that's not really going to do anything anymore. Which was the original winner of the run. <laughs> but this is just a wall of tears. Like, it's just, there's only so much you can do about that, unfortunately. Hopefully the red creep over there is going to do some damage. Uh, might just try to get some of that underneath him every time he's at least, like, the head or whatever. Maybe that ends up working out. Don't like this, because that's going to create eyes, I think. That is my main worry right now, that there is an eye somewhere, but I think uh, the boss is damaged enough that he's not spawning eyes anymore, so that's good at least. I'm just going to keep that second pause until the very end. But it is... Really. <laughs> that is That actually surprised me, because I feel like I walked around that, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> I saw that tear and everything. It was very unfortunate. There is a jumpy one nearby. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's all falling apart, really. <laughs> uh, God, I have... Surprised I'm not dead yet, honestly, but I must be close. Because I have taken a lot of hits there. I cannot get close to him. This is so frustrating. But I guess it's good to know, because this is, um... I was a little bit concerned. Partially, I guess. That something like this would happen if you slowed down this fight. But I never really had an opportunity to try. And I'm kind of happy that at least now I have the opportunity to try it out, because... Now I know. <laughs> uh, this is just effectively nothing, though. I'm just gonna keep shooting. If I had maybe stronger project- like, uh, orbitals or something like that, maybe that would have been a worthwhile attempt, but that... is just dealing zero damage. <laughs> it is not an effective strategy right now. His hands were glowing, so that frightened me a little bit, unfortunately. Nothing too bad ended up happening there. Throw a bomb there. Well, we got the bug to happen, but it's only going to drop red hearts, I think, so that's not going to do too much. I uh, don't know where you are. Every time you hear him say Isaac, you know it's a bad time. There's poops all over the place suddenly. Hoping one of them would drop his soul heart. The odds were not in my favor at all, but it would have been nice for sure. Just keep this up, I suppose. But my health must be at like one right now because I've taken so many hits. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not seeing the Ipecac tears or something because I am... Like afterwards, I notice that they're there after they explode. It's like, oh yeah, Ipecac tear. That's not mine. <laughs> That's not one of my yellow tears that is occasionally floating around me. Oh god. It's gonna be close in any way, but that's just gonna be more heartbreaking at the end of the day. Uh, I don't know if that flame is bad or not, but I have to assume it probably isn't good. Because I don't think I can throw a blue flame anywhere that's just forever there. Oh, that's probably from uh, the lamb, right? Yeah. I don't understand how I'm still alive. I actually genuinely don't, because I've taken so many hits during this fight. I don't have any protection that I know of. 
Realistically, I feel like I should be dead already. It's cool. Another hit. Still not dead. That's 10? Was I at full health? Like, I, that doesn't seem real because I did not pick up that many hearts. I don't think I have, like, wafer or anything. I mean, I would be happy with it unless Arrowlock does that. Does Arrowlock do that? Nope, I'm dead. Oh, well. Well, that was the most frustrating thing of my life, but at least we managed to, um... Kill the lamb and Mega Satan and Satan as well with the blue baby. So that's at least a couple things. But that build was just so irritating. <laughs> but God, I did not expect Arrowwalk to be that terrible during that fight either. Because the the one thing that's good about it, I would say, is that if your tears are not the exact same color as Delirium, then it's probably easier to tell. Like if your tears are red, then it's probably fine. Um, but that's really, it was throwing me off a lot. I was running into things that I thought were my own tears and I couldn't differentiate between the two is what I was worrying. But also there was just giant walls of tears and I didn't have range to deal with it. If I had something like technology or brimstone or something like that, I think that would have worked out so much better. Just any way that I could have had a long range attack. But unfortunately, it's just not to be. But fair enough. We did manage to get some progress in there at least. And hopefully next time we go to Delirium as the blue baby, then we'll have a better build. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another run as a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.